So my name is Jayanarayan Tadu. So uh, currently I am working as an assistant professor at the Indian Institute of Technology, Tirupati. Uh, I teach computer hardware uh, and the AI hardware. I am also a little bit trying to be a, a good human being by practicing a devotional service uh, in our Hare Krishna movement, or the ISKCON movement which has been started by Srila Prabhupada Maharaj. Artificial intelligence has not just come at once, it has evolved in the due course of time. Okay, And it has also got relationship with other technology. Maybe last 50 years, uh, around 1940 or 1947 during the time. So the AI has already started. Uh, so it has been started historically. It has been started by some of the prominent computer scientists like Alan Turing and few others, Shannon. The, whatever the computational power that we are getting now in the cell phone, uh, in the, those days it used to be very huge computer. It used to occupy one big, you know, 10 square feet uh, or let's say 100 square feet room. So that, which means saying that uh, the computational power which AI kind of uh, requires was not that much. So before this computer came, or the computer or the electronics came, the earlier technology was electrical engineering or the technology with respect to electricity, right, electricity. And prior to the electricity was fuel-based engines. Electricity was not being used that time. So we, we, we should try to understand how have the, what is the thought process that has evolved through this technology. So you, that to understand that we should really look into ourselves. So one we call it is a working senses. The senses or the organs through which we do the work. For example, leg, hand, right? So those we can call it as a working senses. A little more subtle than that is the brain. And the brain really controls our other senses. Like hearing, the smelling, or touching, or the tasting, right? So this thought I am giving, not it is not my thought, it's one of the big guy, Professor Roger Penrose, Oxford mathematician. So you can read his book. But it, he has given the thought which is really resonating with whatever has been said in our Vedic scripture. So therefore it makes relevant to understand the technological evolution through this two kind of thought process. So the Roger Penrose is an Oxford mathematician, mathematical physicist, rather, so who has won the Nobel Prize recently, maybe last year or last or last year. But what he says is that probably the human being, we, the human being, wanted to enhance our own limitations. For example, through the leg, maybe I can run by, you know, maximum, uh, you know, uh, few kilometers per hour. Right? May not be more than that. Uh, through the hand or let's say I can lift you know maybe 50 kg max 60 kg on an average until unless you are a weight lifter who could lift the 100 100 kilogram right but let's say now you wanted to lift more much more than that you wanted to lift you know one ton thousand ton how do you do it as a human being it is our tendency to overcome we don't want it to be limited we wanted to expand ourselves right we wanted to overcome the limitation so therefore to overcome the limitation, so what the Professor Penrose probably says that we have tried to, we have invented or let's say we have tried to bring out the mechanical engineering. So that's how the mechanical engineering probably could have come. So therefore we have invented the fuel based engine, petrol engine, diesel engine or the combustion engine, right? Through which we can lift, we can run, we can go very fast to far distance, right? Today I can travel from here to India to America very easily with the help of the mechanical engineering. So which means that you have almost overcome your limitation. So that's the first point to understand. So through this, what are the limitations that we could overcome? Whatever earlier I was not able to do through my hands and the leg, legs, now I could able to do this, those things through the crane, through the you know, mobile van, through the vehicles, other things. We wanted to go a little more, right? So therefore, Whatever the limitations that we could see uh, through our, you know, in our uh, knowledge gaining senses, like ear, someone may speak in the United States of America, I could hear him here now, through the phone, through the signal transmissions, right, we, through the communication technology, I could able to communicate now. So similarly, I could able to see whatever is happening far away from me, 
right through the vision technology or the television technology the transmission satellite and other things so this is how the technology is evolving and these are all possible because of the electricity because of the invention of the electricity so it has brought so many things so now the we as a human being wanted to be little more powerful in terms of whatever the technology so far we have invented we have invented vehicles we have invented motor car we have invented airplane and now we wanted to make them to behave like human being this is a next level of thinking so when we say the like human being so far our machine has not does not have the capability to think okay does not have the capability to make intelligent decisions right so therefore we wanted to bring in now the capability of intelligence so what we call it is a artificial intelligence so it is a next level of you know extracting the information or the artificial uh, the, the intelligent informations from the whatever the data that we collect so therefore the data science and the artificial intelligence goes hand in hand so the youtube can analyze your you know the video watching pattern what kind of video you likes what kind of video you don't likes right and accordingly he gives you all the different pop ups comes right so different people if you look at the difference from mobile mobile phone uh, it is not the same screen you see the my travel pattern let's say what are the different place google maps so the google maps probably when you install the app so it has asked you different permissions and you have said yes so which means that probably google map could able to track your be the travel pattern and says that okay this guy is moving around different different holy places so i have to give him advertisement accordingly okay different spiritual place different temples different dham or the spiritual gurus or the leaders they are talk lectures so when you say the intelligence it is probably the best definition of the artificial intelligence is able to think okay think through able to analyze able to understand it and able to recommend okay what is to be done and what is not to be done so this is the artificial intelligence kind of technology so therefore in this talk or in this video series this is this is going to be our the first talk and we'll do little more <laughs> so it is raining now so we have to rush and run <laughs>